Hey guys, welcome to part two of my Q&A video. So there were so many questions that I couldn't fit them all in the first video. So here I am for the second part. So let's just jump right in to see if we can get them all done quickly. <laughs> all right, so from D1978L, what would be a real spa treatment for you? A real spa treatment for me would be a full body massage and facial. <laughs> A full body massage and facial, a vacation, that would definitely be a spa treatment for me. Let me tell you, that's a spa treatment right there. But yeah, a full body massage, a facial, getting my hair and nails done, and then like a nice night out. <laughs> that's a whole spa treatment. From Colleen Lagasca Manalang, what is your favorite food? I think that my favorite food is pizza. And spaghetti yes guys I love pasta <laughs> from Caitlin R have you ever had a boyfriend in a middle school yes I did my first love was when I was 13 years old I was in eighth grade I did have that boyfriend but we lived far away from each other so we weren't together all the time in school and I would say it was super nice. It was very innocent. That kind of love is super, super, super cute. And I love that innocent kind of love, you know? Um, he would send me letters all the time. He would call me every day. It was very, very sweet. So yeah, that was my boyfriend when I was in middle school. And she also said, love you. And I love you too. From Leslie Nieto, what is your favorite season? All right, so my favorite season for a long time was the fall season, but that over time has changed and it is now summer, 100%. I love the vacation time, my birthday's in the summer, um, I get to go on cruises in the summer, I love the colors, the, the fruits, the watermelons, the decor, the colors, all that stuff, I absolutely love. So over time, it has changed into the summertime. And Anastasia MCS, I believe. Who is your favorite beauty guru? All right, beauty guru, I would say Candy Johnson is like my number one. And I think behind her would be Dulce Candy. I love Dulce Candy as well. Modern or Beauty 90? Oh no, I'm sorry. Modern Beauty 90. What lipstick do you prefer, red or nude? Hands down, 100% red. <laughs> Ashley B, what are your ugh, what are your holy grail products of the year so far? Oh, my holy grail products of this year. Okay, let's see. <laughs> All right, my Maybelline Total Temptation mascara, my Bare Minerals Moxie Get Ready Little Mini Lipstick. This for my brows, which I don't even know what it's called, what it is. I don't remember. <laughs> and, um, hold on, I know I have more. My Ofra Cosmetics Santa Ana Liquid Lippy. My Pixie Flawless and Poreless Primer. My, of course, Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. And this has been kind of new. My Too Faced um natural bronzer and sun bunny which is that and i kind of like mix the two colors together and just go all over my face so i think those are pretty much like my holy grail right now for this year all right so from katherine mendez that's my girl that is my girl <laughs> hey my love um, what are your favorite time management tips to tell you the truth, I make lists, okay? And I don't know how much that would be considered time management because I make lists like to remember things that I have to do. It might be because I can just sit down and start banging things out of the list, like start crossing things out. Um, I guess that would be my favorite time management tips. I can't think of anything else right now. For Rana Rami, what's your favorite Instagram makeup account at the moment? I don't really have a favorite Instagram makeup account. I think I, I follow several, but I don't really have a favorite makeup account really. 
from elizabeth v since you mentioned valentine's day are you a chocolate or flower girl definitely flowers if you would tell me candy i might think about it but chocolate i like it but i'm not like a huge chocolate girl so i'm definitely more flowers than chocolate beth and harris what's your favorite color that's <laughs> Definitely pink. You guys should know that pink, rose gold, blush, all of those colors. Esther Kleinman, what makes you excited like a little kid? Hmm. What makes me excited like a little kid? Okay, what makes me excited like a little kid is literally finding something that I really, really want that I've been after for like ever and I can't find it anywhere and like getting my hands on it. I'm going to show you the perfect example. For example, <laughs> I found these earrings today at Target. Okay. I saw them on another YouTuber's channel. She recently hauled them. And as soon as I saw them, I'm like, I need this in my life. Right. So I go on the Target website, which is where they have the sugar fix by Bobble Bar. And of course, they're not there. So I'm like freaking out. I'm like, how am I going to find this? So then I go to Target, like the one that was closest to me. They had nothing there. And then I was like, oh my God, I'm never going to find this. I went on the Bobble Bar website. They had them there, sold out. And they were 50 bucks, which is a complete difference from $12.99. So I was like, I'm getting these earrings no matter what. I'm getting them. I don't know how. I don't know where, but I'm getting them. <laughs> so I went today to, cup to run a couple of errands. And I was like, let me stop by the nearest Target to where I am. And maybe, maybe they'll be there. So I stop at that Target. I'm walking towards the jewelry section. I go and I find the Sugar Fix by Bobble Bar display. I go around and right there, smack in the front, like waiting for me, were these earrings. So yeah, guys, things like that make me excited like a little kid, like finding, finally finding something that I've been wanting forever, like things like that. Um, going on vacation, like I don't know, so many things. All right, from Bobby Joe Moines, what's your favorite summer activity? Cruising, 100%, going on cruises. <laughs> from Daria Termulo. Why did you start a YouTube channel? I answered that. And who inspired you to start a channel? I don't think there was a specific person that inspired me to start a channel from all the beauty gurus and stuff that I watched. I think it was just the whole community and what was behind everything that made me want to start. From Kelly Tupic, what's your favorite season and why? I already answered that, so you can refer to that. From Jennifer W, who was your first ever style icon or inspiration? That's kind of a difficult question because I don't remember who my first ever style icon or inspiration was, but I think I'm like like a Jennifer Aniston type of style mixed with someone else. I don't know. <laughs> That's like, I kind of like, like that classic, but at the same time, like that fun. I'm like in between like Betsy Johnson and like, I'm not as, I'm not like that crazy like her but i love betsy johnson like i love her so much that woman makes me happy like she makes me happy i love her so i like her style but i'm not like that you know what i mean like i'm more like a classic so i'm like in the middle amanda stump my question is what is your favorite mascara of all time i believe yeah I would have to say the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara is definitely one of my favorites and the Maybelline Lash Stiletto. But if I had to pick just one, it would be better than sex. Um, from Heavenly Snow, if you could change anything about yourself physically or not, would you do it or why or why not? No, I would not change anything from myself because I love myself and God made me this way and I think I'm perfect the way that he made me. So. I wouldn't change anything. Where do you see yourself five years from now? I see myself living in the same city, maybe a little more successful, I don't know. I just see myself as extremely happy in the next five years. And I'm happy right now and I see myself even happier. What is your favorite clothing or makeup line? Clothing line, I don't really have a favorite. I love clothes from everywhere, like everywhere. And makeup line, I don't have a favorite either. <laughs> 
<laughs> so that's that. Those questions are very difficult for me. Ozen says, "What was the very first high-end product you ever bought?" I already answered that. Jane Kelsall says, "What is your favorite makeup brand?" I answered that. And what are your feelings about subscription boxes? I love subscription boxes. You just have to make sure that you are getting a good one. I love Ipsy. I've been subscribed to Ipsy for many years. I also love BoxyCharm. I think that the one that gives you the most for your the most bang for your buck is BoxyCharm. It's $21 a month. You get full-size products. You get amazing products every single month. I haven't always been able to keep up with it, but I do keep up with Ipsy, which I also love. But I think BoxyCharm is just a little better. From Jean Marie Santiago, did you grow up in church or were you saved later on? Okay, I didn't grow up in church. I was saved or I was reborn again when I was like 15 years old. I made the decision on my own. You missed me, me too. Oh, she don't. I'm finishing a video. I love huh? you. I'm finishing a video. Okay. Can I be in it? It's just answering some questions. Cierra me la puerta. Okay. So, like I was saying, I made the choice when I was 15. I started attending a Christian church and I absolutely loved it. And that was my choice to start attending there. And then, um, but I didn't grow up, like I did go to church when I was small, but it wasn't like I grew up constantly. It was a Catholic church where I grew up and I didn't, con I wasn't constantly there. I did go every so often. I did my baptism, my communion you know, all of that stuff, but I never did a confirmation. And then when I was 15, I started going to a Christian church. XXC Lane Mina says, hi, from where do you belong? I'm guessing where do I live or where am I from? I live in Miami. And if you want to know ethnicity, I'm Cuban. Courtney Hawkins, what is the most rewarding thing about having your YouTube channel? And what is the most frustrating thing about having your YouTube channel? Okay. The most rewarding thing is the whole community that you're in, but it also can be frustrating at the same time. And also all of you guys are the most rewarding thing on YouTube. You guys are awesome. All your support is amazing. I love doing this. Just receiving the support from you guys is amazing. So that is like super rewarding. And that, you know, other rewarding things are, you know, the opportunities that you get from YouTube. And the most frustrating thing to me about YouTube is the struggle to grow because nowadays it's very very difficult to grow on youtube so it's a struggle and then also within the community there's also that kind of hate that goes around but i think that the most frustrating for me is the struggle to be able to grow from jean keating what made you decide to do a youtube channel i already answered that one uh britney strom what is your all-time favorite beauty product i have no idea it might actually be my maybelline fit me matte and poreless because this foundation is amazing so that might be my all-time favorite beauty product but in general it would definitely be lippies from carly miller when did you start doing makeup i started doing makeup when i started watching youtube girl let me tell you and even now i still don't really do makeup that well but you know I started doing makeup when I started watching YouTube. Paige Ledbetter says, what are your Holy Grail products? I already answered that. Bilano Kawai says, who is your ideal person and why? I'm not really sure what you mean by this question. Um, I'm not really sure. <laughs> From Shaliangeli Rodriguez, what's your go-to makeup look? Well, what I usually do every single day, I usually have like a simple neutral eye with like red lip or pink lip or things like that that's usually like my go-to every single day is kind of like that d 1978l she's asked she actually asked him what color was on my lips um it was wet and wild and hold on let me see if i have that color here i don't have it with me but it's the cat suit and it's the red one if i remember i'll put it in the description Amanda Beauty Cable says, what's your favorite makeup brand? I already answered that. Luann Thompson says, how long have you been on YouTube? Guys, I've been on YouTube for five and a half years. <laughs> 
five and a half years with occasional like little small breaks in between but overall it's been five and a half years that I've been making videos I've been watching since 2010 Chastidia I hope I pronounced that right Kalia said how did you do your makeup in high school and when did you get into makeup well in high school I would only use like lip products I never really did like a full face of makeup and brows and all this stuff I never really did any of that I never used blush I never if anything if anything I used lipstick and mascara that was pretty much what I did that's why I never did that video of how you did your makeup in high school because I was basically gonna put mascara and lipstick on and that was that was gonna be the video so I was like okay I'm not doing that Mei Lang says have you ever shared your blessings before I'm not exactly sure what that means I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Colleen T. What are your top five spring fragrances? Okay. I would say anything that smells like watermelony, florally. I don't have specific names or specific things, but anything that smells like that, like fresh, like sugary, florally, fruity, things like that, I love for the spring. Raylina through, through the haze. Who are some of your favorite YouTubers? I already answered this question. Beauty by Noelia says, how old are you and where are you from? I am 35 years old. I am from Jersey originally, but I live in Miami and I'm a Miami girl. And if you want to know like ethnicity, I'm Cuban. Aya McBell, what is your favorite MAC lipstick? Okay, for your guys' information, I don't like MAC. <laughs> sorry guys I don't have a Mac favorite lipstick if I had to pick one it would be the three colors from the Selena collection and it's only because they're the three colors from the Selena collection <laughs> Stephanie Johnson says what is your favorite youtuber I already answered Valerie Nash can you do a hooded eyes wing tutorial um I don't think I can <laughs> I wish I could but I don't think I can <laughs> and the last question is from Laura McMillan. And the question is, at what age did you start wearing makeup and were you a tomboy or a girly girl? No, I've always been a girly girl. And at what age I started wearing makeup, I believe I was around 13 or so. But it was very simple, like lipstick and stuff like that. It wasn't anything big. All right, guys, I thank you guys for all your questions and all your support. I love you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Love you guys.